Hey there, so today we have another review and this is from The Alchemist. This is Crusher, their uh, oh, wow, double IPA now. Hmm. So I'm pretty sure they reformulated the recipe because I believe it was a 10% beer at one point. But anyway, and I have reviewed this beer before, but I guess not this one. Um, so this is a new batch of the Crusher 8% double IPA. Um, curious how it tastes different from Hedy, from Hetty Topper, which is now 8% beer because it was always focal, heady, crusher in abv range and now this is back down to the uh, eight percent double ipa first time trying this since checking it out at the brewery so i actually wasn't expecting this i, I thought it was just like oh yeah this crusher i've had it before 10 percent, and then i just looked at the label when i turned on the camera i didn't realize that so uh beer comes in a deep gold color this beautiful um, like sunset orange like a deep tinge of uh deep orange just like oozing out of the glass fluffy white head let's get the aroma I get some intense sweetness of citrus. Um, it has this orange marmalade thing, a little bit of grapefruit, some floral action. Papaya, a little tinge of mango, but leaning a little bit more towards like apricot peach stone fruit. Cheers. So we'll say, when I had the Crusher, I didn't give it a very favorable rating. No, this is good. Nice. Okay. Yeah. I mean, again, it's really hard to do, uh, to do a 10% uh, triple IPA. And I guess he's reformulated the recipe to be an 8% beer. This is delicious. Holy smokes. Wow. So, um, in general, it doesn't quite pop too much. I really wish it followed the nose a little bit more on the palate. The, 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 the fruits up front really could be a little bit more aggressive. It's a faint peachiness, more of that orange marmalade. Um, yeah, it's actually not as fruity and pop, um, of hot popping as I'd like it. But it has a nice medium mouthfeel has a little bit of that um, chewy bread thing in the middle. It dries out quite nicely. It's actually not that bitter. At 8%, this beer is super dangerous. It has the least amount of that signature Alchemist dank thing that I perceive on a lot of his beers, especially Heady Topper and Focal that you, know, you guys are probably familiar with. This one to me is actually the most New England style of the Alchemist beers that I think I can imagine. Granted, he is known as one of the progenitors of the style, but I honestly feel like something like Hill Farmstead really tastes a lot more like the New England style IPAs, at least early on. Um, I feel the Alchemist beer is a little bit more different, and, and they're certainly very unique, and not in a bad way, but they're just Alchemist beers. This one, to me, is more like New England style IPA. I mean, just in appearance. The Alchemist beers don't have this haze to it, so that's one thing I should have noticed on the appearance. And then... Just on the palate, there's a lot softer of a beer. That dank edge is not as intense. There's a little bit of that ripping green herb um, weed thing on the back end, but it's not as aggressive as Hetty. It does tend to have a little bit of that quality uh, that I associate with the Alchemist, but this is arguably one <laughs> like the softer side. So this is nice. I like it. It's good. Um, you know, I just wish, man. If it popped up front a little bit more of fruity qualities that I smelled on the aromatics, then it would be stellar, stellar. Um, to me, this was a good attempt at New, New England style IPA from The Alchemist, which sounds completely crazy, I'm sure, uh, to you guys. But um, this one, again, tastes more like New England style IPA than the other beers. Um, I like the texture on it. I like that's a good fruitiness. The stone fruit really pops on this one. But man, it dries out so quickly. I mean, this is so dangerous for 8%. It definitely perceives it something like a 7% um, beer. So that's pretty cool. I like it. It's nice. Um, as for rating, let's go with something like a 94. This is Crusher from The Alchemist. Really awesome job on reformulating this recipe to see what this beer is at now. 94 for me. Absolutely fantastic. Until next time. Cheers. Later.